Hello, I'm Timothy Lemoyne, and this is part five of Making the Wren Shed. Remember that down below in the description, I have a link to these. They're free plans. I have other free plans. You can check those out. In this video, I show you how to cut the roof, and I show you how to measure for placing all of the different screws that fasten it together. So this is the Wren Shed, part five. Check it out. Here I am on the miter saw. This is my one by eight piece and I am rough cutting it to uh, nine inches actually. So I've already measured, I've marked, I use the square. Right now I'm gonna make the cut. Uh, the X is right here, so make sure you line up your saw in the correct spot. After I do my rough cut, then I'm looking at my plans. This is sheet seven. You should check things out. Uh, the width of your board is already taken care of. Next, we're going to cut it to finish length. So for that, you need to measure and mark. After you've got it marked appropriately, head right back over to the uh, miter saw. This time you're cutting a 22 and a half degree bevel. Make sure that you adjust your saw head. As you can see, my saw head has already been adjusted, so I am going to bring it in and line up my cut and make that cut. <laughs> this extra piece is just scrap wood, and this is the key. We need that to match up with the rest of our pieces. So that's your top. So if you're wondering about like, why do we have this angled piece cut the way that it is? The reason is, is because when we place it on our top, we want this, a flat surface all along the back. It's just a nice finished touch. And uh, without that angle, your birdhouse doesn't look nearly as good. So we're getting pretty close to the end. I've showed you how to basically cut every single piece. Now it's time to start thinking about how is this going to get fastened together. And while it doesn't show up real well, this is the side of the birdhouse. You can see that I have screws going through the side piece. There's none in the front, bottom, or anything like that. And then here's some more screws going through the side piece. We're going to need to mark all of those locations. So that's what I'm showing you next. So right now what I'm doing is a little bit of a dry assembly and uh, this is going to help make sure that all of our pieces are put together the correct way. So that is my back and here comes the side. One of the things that I'm going to do for this dry assembly is if you notice my finger is making these even with each other and that needs to happen to make sure that we're going to drill holes all the same way. Same thing is going to happen on this side here for my dry assembly, I mean, I'm just seeing how things fit together. There it is, okay? I'm gonna spin this now, and the placement of your bottom is very important to the longevity of your birdhouse. If I stick it all the way down to the bottom so that this is flush on the end, water is gonna pool up there and it's gonna rot out, and you won't have a 10-year-old birdhouse. You're gonna have one that lasts a few years and then it's done. I like to build things that are gonna last longer. So what I do is I just push this up about one fourth of an inch. And I'm just double checking, did anything slide around? My answer is no. And after I've slid that up one fourth of an inch, I wanna transfer this. So I'm just tracing on both sides where this piece ends up lining up. Then that'll allow me to get holes drilled in the correct spot. So here's what happens next. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my sides down and I'm just gonna set it side by side. And uh, up here, I wanna transfer this information across so they literally have to go straight down. You can feel the top up here and uh, basically what's going on here, so you can see, I'm lining up this tippy top edge with the tippy top of my side. And uh, when you do that, that allows you to take this information here that we just recorded and transfer it over onto our side pieces. 
This is going to help me pre-drill and make sure that when I locate my bottom and I drill everything, everything is going to come out the correct size. So then what I do is I take a square and I transfer this information across. And I know that I'm going to end up drilling a hole right through here that's going to help keep my bottom in place. So I'm just marking that with an X. I'm going to do the same exact process over here for this piece. Transfer this information across. Put an X where I'm going to drill a hole. Okay. This next part, it's not in my plans. I can always add it if it bothers people. But the next thing we're going to do is mark spots for where we're going to drill along the sides here. So the numbers are from this point here on both of them is going to be down 2, then 6, and then 10. So you want to make sure you measure those and get them done correct. Right, again, I'm going to take my square and transfer this information so it shows up a little bit better. So 2, 6, this last one is 10. Then we need to know where to put the head of our drill bit. And uh, basically, this is going to come together. There's going to be a piece that comes here and a screw comes up and through. This piece that goes back here is 3 quarters of an inch. So we want to do half of that which uh, is 6 sixteenths or 3 eighths. So that's what I'm measuring next. And the next thing we got to do is we got to get screws going across this way. These are really important, especially the top one, because that's going to act as our hinge for the door to get into our birdhouse. For these ones, I am measuring along this smaller distance. And from this corner, I'm going to measure down one inch. And then this next one is eight inches. Here I go. Same thing as before, coming in from the side, we're going 3 eighths of an inch. Rather than measure twice on these, the next thing I do is I just transfer some lines across. So I line up my two pieces and I start marking my locations. This is going to allow me to ensure that every single hole is symmetrical. So then the only measurement that I really, really, really have to do is going to be my 3 eighths in, which I'm going to do right now. So these are all the pieces that I've marked for drill holes. This is my back, and I'm going to stick a hole there. I'll probably actually center it, not be off to the side like this. Uh, on my sides, along the back side, I have one, two, three holes. This is going to be the front edge, so there's one, two holes there. And then I'm going to put one about right in the middle here. Be sure that you're doing these and getting them all drilled the right way. I end up using an eighth inch bit. And uh, I'm going to go drill those on the drill press next. So then after uh, all your spots are marked, next step would be put the tip of the drill bit right on the spots that you have marked, drill all the way through.
All right, so that pretty much wraps things up. Uh, drilled those uh, holes, they're all evenly spaced because I measured those things. Uh, flip back and look for jump to sections in the description. As always, uh, if this video worked out well for you, be sure and like and subscribe. I'm going to try to keep uh, continuously pumping out more information for projects that you can build. And uh, check out my website, www.timothylemoyne.com. Thank you.